That's a 30 foot wave, dude. Hey, Wyatt. Hang on, Wyatt. Hang on! Hang on! Hang on! Hang on, guys, hang on. There is no doubt that the greatest adventure one can embark on is the water body adventure right there in the deep blue ocean. Interestingly, there are a lot of people who love being out on the sea. This is not me talking about the Navy, but adventurers who want to catch fishes and crustaceans that live in the water for a living. If you still think otherwise about people who love adventure on water bodies, then take a look at the number of fans who love Jack Sparrow for being a ship captain in Pirates of the Caribbean, with an 8.1 rating on IMDb. So imagine a show with a number of adventurers who make a living hunting for many great crustaceans of the water body. Well, it's high time you stopped imagining, because we have the good news. That show already exists, and it is airing on Discovery Channel called The Deadliest Catch. The action-packed reality TV show is one of a kind. Serving viewers with premium content week in, week out isn't for every show, but Deadliest Catch keeps bossing that record. While the viewers enjoy a thrilling show back at home, life aboard isn't as easy as we think for deckhands employed. So we're here to know if their net worth complements their hard work. Let's hop into how rich the cast members of Deadliest Catch are. The name of the reality TV show might seem a bit off, but it is derived from the high inherent risk and injury or death associated with the line of work. Humans battling it out with the biggest sea creatures you can think of. From fishes to crabs and other sea inhabitants, Deadliest Catch is one of the riskiest television shows of the last decade. Deadliest Catch premiered on Discovery in April 2005, following the adventure of crab fishermen aboard fishing vessels in the Bering Sea in the snow crab fishing season or Alaskan king crab season. The only thing that could complement the hard work these brave fishermen put into serving us great content will be smiling to the bank after each episode. Following the show closely, you would see that the crab fishing vessel captains are heads of multi-million dollar operations. Just like we have the CEO of each company and they earn more due to their high rank, the captain of each vessel spearhead the company and oversees the activities of their deckhand. So saying crab fishing vessel captains oversee multi-million dollar operations is false. For instance, if one were to consider how much the specially constructed boats cost, not many would make the right guesses. In fact, a used boat costs about $1 million. Surprising, right? Aside from the cost of the boat, the various equipment and gears used for fishing and to make things comfy on board for captain and crew members alike as they sail through some of the harshest seas in the world all cost a lot. Going by all this, it is estimated that the captain of a crab fishing vessel can earn about $200,000 in annual salary. $200,000 is quite impressive, considering that crab season lasts around three months only. So technically, they are working for just three months to earn a whopping $200,000. It is commendable going by the stress and risk they experience while sailing. However, reports have it that the seven captains on Deadliest Catch earn more than $200,000 given the additional opportunities for income that being on a highly rated television series affords. Rating all captains by how rich they are, Sig Hansen, Captain FV Northwestern, is reportedly worth about $3.5 million, closely followed by Wild Bill Wotroski, Captain FV, whose wealth is estimated to be around $3 million. Then Jake Anderson, Captain FV Saga, who is worth about $1.8 million. Keith Colburn, Captain of FV Wizard, has a reported net worth of $1.5 million, and Captain Steve Davidson of FV Southern Wind has a net worth of $1.5 million. Captain Josh Harris of FV Time Bandit is said to have a net worth of around $800,000, while Captain Jonathan Hillstrand of the same ship has a net worth of $2.2 million. Casey McManus of FV Cornelia Marie has an estimated net worth of $700,000, while Scott Campbell Jr., captain of FV Lady Alaska, has a net worth of $600,000. Going into full details, we have Josh Harris first. Josh started from scratch working for his father, Captain Phil Harris, in Season 10. He started as a deckhand and is now the captain of the fishing vessel Cornelia Marie. It's pretty normal to see family members work together on Deadliest Catch, and the Harrises are not any different. Young Captain Harris is worth around $800,000. Although that is considerably low compared to what other captains are worth on the show, Josh Harris got promoted to the position of a captain not long ago, and it will take a while to earn as high as others who have been captain of their vessels for a long time. However, with a net worth close to a million dollars, Josh Harris isn't doing badly for himself at least better than his brother Jake. Sig Hansen Sig is one of the top-rated captains on Deadliest Catch, and his position also complements his net worth. With a net worth of over $3.5 million, Sig Hansen is the richest captain on the show. 
Sig, just like other captains, learned under the tutelage of his father. He and his brother Edgar manned the family's vessel and have been living up to expectations since appearing on the show. While Sig might be the captain of the vessel, his brother, Edgar Hansen, is another prominent cast member that is good at what he does, even though he had some legal issues that prevented him from appearing on the show recently. Sig and his brother Edgar would follow their father to the river to fish, and from there, they grew up loving the profession. Scott Campbell Jr. Scott is one of the lowest earning captains on the show, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he is poor. With a net worth of $600,000, Scott has ventured into several other businesses to complement his earnings. He is currently into a cooler business with his dad and is also a partial writer. Elliot Nessie There is always a villain kind of character in every show, and Elliot Nessie, who joined Deadliest Catch in its first episode of Season 9, is one of the toughest guys on the show. Playing a certain character differently from what others do is what makes him loved. As the captain of the vessel, Saga, Elliot is worth around $500,000. Elliot has been in the news for quite some time about what he is going through, even though he seems to have very little social media presence. Hopefully, we get to see more of our tattoo guy and the continuation of Deadliest Catch. Andy Hillstrand A co-captain here, Andy has been through the show since its inception, and it's safe to say he and Sig Hansen are now the longest cast members of the show. Andy's vessel, Time Bandit, started appearing on the show right from the second season, hunting for crab that costs a lot in the market and that explains why Andy is worth $1.5 million. Although Andy is a co-captain, he captained the vessel during the Opilion Crab season in November. Andy works hand-in-hand -hand with his brother, Jonathan, on their vessel to keep their family business going. Jonathan Hillstrand Jonathan, the captain of Time Bandit, is worth more than his brother, Andy. With a net worth of $2.2 million, Jonathan sits up there comfortably with the likes of Sig Hansen and Bill Witrowski. While his brother Andy often takes the reins of the ship during the Apilio crab season, Jonathan is the head honcho. It's also the reason why his net worth is considerably higher than Andy's. Jonathan, however, retired after the 13th season of Deadliest Catch, putting Time Bandit up for sale at $2.8 million. Jake Anderson Starting off as a deckhand in Season 3 of Deadliest Catch, Jake's story can be tagged as Zero to Hero. How he rose to the top spot to compete with his former captain Sig Hansen needs to be studied. Jake did have a rough start, and his story with Sig is indeed a great one. He gave Hansen a bunch of entertaining headaches, to say the least. Jake Anderson, as of today, has a vessel of his own. Jake Anderson has some news on the internet that explains his disappearance and the death of his father. Bill Witrowski Here we have the captain that matches Sig Hansen's prowess when it comes to fishing. Skills aside, Bill is also up there with Sig in terms of money. And with a net worth of $3 million, Bill is the second richest on the show. Bill has some background stories as well. Prior to captaining Summer Bay, he was the commander of the Kodiak, which is the same vessel that appeared in Season 6 through 8 of the show. Keith Colburn Featuring in Season 3, Keith came to Alaska at the age of 22, determined to be a fisherman, which saw him start as a crab fisher on the Alaska Treader before becoming a deckhand on the Wizard in 1998. Keith later purchased The Wizard in 2004 before appearing on the show. With a net worth of $1.5 million, Keith is also on the big boys list on Deadliest Catch. Edgar Hansen Edgar is one of the brightest stars of the show, but his legal issues have really affected him negatively, and we hope he bounces back to reclaim his position on the vessel with his brother Sig Hansen. Edgar is worth $2 million, making him one of the fewest cast members who aren't a captain to be worth more than a million dollars. Which of the Deadliest Catch cast members do you think will be entering the million dollar net worth range soon?